Right now we've practiced uh, until we're comfortable with it, our arriving and our transition into the defensive line. Um, we need to now work on transitioning in behind the halfback or the jockey or chariot position, whatever you want to call it. Where this is relevant, I think, is um, if you read that play is going to go away from you, so the ball's one, play's going to go away from you, if we're transitioning flat into the defensive line, then we've got, it puts a lot of players between us and where play's going. So it's really important we read accurately. If play's going to come back at us, we want to be getting flat. If play is going to go away from us, we want to be getting into transitioning through behind the halfback as much as possible. We're never going to get it right all the time. But So this one here, we're going to arrive exactly as we did before. So we're arriving on the last feet. We're going to promote our inside foot a metre from the D-line or a step from the D-line. But as we as we realise that play is going to go the other way, we'll see the halfback is going to shape to go that way. Then we just drop back in behind the halfback. I call, I call it a Z line, so it's basically like a like a zigzag in behind. So have a look. We arrive square. We see it's going another way. We back up a little bit and in behind the halfback. See how it works. And we want to practice this over and over again at different speeds from different angles like we did the other ones. Key couple of key factors, we don't want to be arriving straight into chariot, in my view, because it just we default there, we wind up in behind if a contest comes on, it's not a very good place to referee a contest from. So we still want to be arriving exactly the same, in line with the last feet, give or take, um, in a position with our inside foot up, so we can go either way, and then making a clear decision when, play, when we think play's going to go one way or another, whether we get we take a step into the defensive line or we we zigzag z line in behind the nine um, have fun with that